Hi, my name is Juarez Barbosa Jr. I'm a senior principal Java developer evangelist at Oracle. Welcome to episode 6 of a series on getting started with Java, JDBC, and the Oracle database. For this video, we will learn how to connect to the Oracle Autonomous Database and get started using Oracle JDBC to connect and run a JDBC callable statement against a PL SQL start procedure in an Oracle database. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin with the prerequisites. The first step is to sign into your Oracle Cloud account or create a new free trial account if you don't have one. Use the link provided in step one to do so. The second step is to create an Oracle Autonomous Database instance. There are many options you can use to achieve that. We'll use the simple Terraform scripts. Start with the provided Terraform scripts, specify the ADB instance name, password, and email address, then execute the following commands, Terraform init, Terraform plan, and Terraform apply. It will take a short while to complete. As soon as it completes, you will see that the Terraform execution will return the database connection strings. The third and last step is to create the database table and the PL SQL stored procedure. You can use SQL Developer Web or access your autonomous database instance. Log in to OCI, select the hamburger icon at the top left hand side, click Oracle Database, then select Autonomous Transaction Processing instance, select your database instance, then click the Database Actions button. Next, click SQL. Now, use the SQL script from our code sample to execute the DDL statements as required. You have to specify your desired password. Execute the script to create the database elements as required. Check the script output tab to make sure it got executed successfully. With the working Oracle Autonomous Database instance and the required database elements created, we can now call the PL SQL procedure. First, you must download the Oracle Wallet and save it to a local directory. Access your database instance again, click Database Connection, click Download Wallet, provide a password, and then click the Download button. Save it, then move the file to your preferred directory and unzip it. Now we are ready to call a PL SQL stored procedure from a JDBC callable based statement. So let's talk about the next steps. You can use our preferred integrated development environment to open the project. You can use Eclipse, IntelliJ, or VS Code with the Java extensions. Next, you have to modify the config.properties file and provide the connection details to create a JDBC connection as usual. And then the last step is to open the Java class called JDBC stored proc employee.java as it has the main method. Run it and see the results returned from the PL SQL stored procedure. Here is our project in the sample code. You can see java.sql.callable statement imported at the top. You can see imports for Oracle connection and Oracle data source. There's a database um, configuration utility to retrieve the database connection details from the properties file. And here we instantiate an Oracle data source. We get a connection. And then we call prepare call on the connection to get an instance of callable statement. And you can see the call to the stored procedure here. Uh, we set the in parameters. Um, same thing, we, uh, we register the out parameter. We execute the callable statement. And then we process the results. And we print the result here. Let's run it. And that's it. You can see the input parameters here and the output parameter uh, returned from the uh, PL SQL stored procedure. If you want to explore all the details of our sample code, Oracle Developers on Medium also has a blog post called Invoking Stored Procedures with JDBC Callable Statements with all the explanations about JDBC, PL SQL, and other related topics. So that completes our video on Invoking Stored Procedures with JDBC Callable Statements. Again, if you'd like to know more about these topics, make sure to visit the links on this slide. 
Thank you for watching this video and until next time.